Hi. <laughs> if I look like I've been crying, it's because I've been crying. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Looking like the weebiest of teenagers. Uh, my baby is not going to be nursing anymore and it's really sad. And uh, so that's why I look like this. Anyway, hi, I'm Moonfell. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play some more Moonglaw Bay because it's real good. And also, I had to replay the intro. <laughs> I broke the game. So I've restarted, <laughs> played through the intro again, uh, got through it way faster. I've had, I've had more money this time around. So I got to buy more things from the market. And also, I actually talked to everyone at the market this time. And so I got a quest. And I started to do that quest and I was like, oh, wait, I should, I should record. So let's just jump right in. Let's just jump right in, yeah? Sorry about my face. I can't control it. Sometimes I just look like this. We are delivering prescriptions for the local doctor. That's what I'm doing. Uh, this is one of them. Hi, Gertrude. Delivery from the physician's office. Oh, marvelous. Thanks, uh, Moonfell Fisher. I'm helping out Dr. Guy for the day. I see. I do hope Liaga's back soon. <sighs> That's probably one, too. Let's look up there first. I have figured out in my um, having to replay the game that uh, no one drives in these streets, so they're a fair game to walk down. <laughs> and also I figured out how to zoom in and zoom out. And also I've gotten really good at using the camera a lot better anyway. Huh. Hey Valerie, Dr. Guy asked me to deliver your prescription. Oh, is the Yaga? Like Gaia? Like Gaia. <gasps> Did I say Liaga earlier? <laughs> I'm only mildly dyslexic. Dizzle. Dyslexic. I see. I do hope Liaga's back soon. Is Ligaya under the weather? She normally brings this, you see. I didn't ask. Sorry, just the messenger. Well, thanks all the same. You are welcome, everyone who has given me shit for delivering your prescriptions for free. I ain't gonna pay for this. Okay. Mm. Mrs. Fisher, thank goodness. There's no time. My assistant, Ligaya Suarez, she was on a supply run. But Port Georgetown said she departed yesterday. Her boat must be stranded. Oh, if something's happened. <gasps> Mom, Port Georgetown is north from here along the coast. Ooh. The broken glaciers, we'll check there first. Okay. So. Here's what we have to do. We have to... First, go north, 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 north. Ah, right here. We'll go there first. Broken glacier. Oh, hey, there's a person right there. Hi. Hello. Oh. Mom, there. Get us in close. Are we not in close? I guess she's here with us now. <laughs> oh, no. Chat to Grace Kraut. Oh, I'm doing that right now. Um, return to Robert's office. Okay. I need to talk to, uh, Abby. Which my husband pointed out, it's probably Abby. What a bummer. I think I'm still gonna call her Abby. Because, uh, yeah, obviously. Obviously. Oh, thank goodness. What incredible luck you were here. Oh. It wasn't luck. You had the doctor worried sick. Mm jokes right now seriously mom oh, it was an accident <laughs> mrs fisher Ligaya escaped her ordeal with only minor abrasions however can i thank you oh. you can't oh. or what i mean is you don't have to not like no reward should be worthy please stop talking hmm. actually there is one thing i'd like to do repair the office the bay is only going to get busier i'd like to help out Bye. I certainly won't refuse, and I'm glad to see Paris has retained his great taste in friends. Oh, girl, I got you. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks again for your kind offer to refurbish the office. I know plenty of other properties around town could use your help, although the owners might need a little convincing first. Happy to help. I think it's time for this old lady to go take a nap. Just a short one, and then we'll cook, and we'll get our funds back up. And then, and then, we shall 
go we'll go wrestle a fish. Okay. Off we go. We got some cooking to do. Oh, 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 we should make this. Ooh, we should make that too. Grilled octopus for our marina. The uh, aquarium lady. That's the word I was looking for. Aquarium. You know. Aquarium. Okay. And then we also need to make some of this. This is just a bunch of chopping. If you can imagine, uh, chopped fish is just chopped fish. Boop, boop. Mm, chop, mm, chop, chop, mm, chop. I find all the washing of fish strange. It's not really a thing that I'm aware of us doing, at least in the States. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I'm gonna be surprised to everyone, but I have been wrong before. Me and Cleaver. I wonder if that's like gonna be a quest item. Um Oh Perfect. I upgraded all of the stuff. Like I can cook sixteen at a time. Which is fantastic. Forget having to cook all this stuff like it is. Much preferred to do it this way. Mm. Oof. No, I don't have any any more money. Hmm. What an interesting conundrum to have. Okay, I have a bunch of fish to deliver. Miss Goto, may I present your surf and turf. Free sample on the house. Oh, uh, thank you. I wasn't really expecting you to follow through. Uh -huh. Tell me, Moonfell. Do you like gossip? <gasps> what? I'm offended by the mere suggestion. Of course I do. Tell me everything. <laughs> well, Melissa Carth and Brenna Walters once had a disagreement at a town hall meeting. As of this week, they won't have spoken to each other for 15 years. <laughs> wow. What was the fight about? Mm. Exotic pet ownership. Melissa is keen on capybaras, but Brenna dismisses the idea as a ludicrous fantasy. A ludicrous fantasy in Moonglow? Surely not. Uh -huh. <laughs> Indeed. This surf and turf smells divine. We'll have to do this again. Go give Marina an uh, uh, octopus. My brain could not give me octopus just now. Just always great. Love when that happens. <laughs> oh, nice. Grilled octopus. Thanks so much. Yeah. Hey, quick question. What was it that drew you and Olivia to Moonglow? Ah. Easy. The endless potential. It feels like a new frontier. So many undiscovered species. Mm -hmm. So all the folklore and strange stories didn't put you off? Yeah. Ah, rumors like that say more about the townsfolk than the creatures. Speaking of, this grilled octopus smells fantastic. <sighs> Then I'll have to make some more. Same time tomorrow. What are you doing? Stop offering everyone food every day. Chill out. Chill out, Moon. Chill out. Oh, they're going to be closed, aren't they? Dang it. Please don't be closed. Yay. Okay. Ah, Paris's new best friend. Sorry if he seems a bit distracted. Huh. That's fine. He's clearly got a lot on his plate managing the market. He cares a lot about this place. The whole town, in fact. Paris came to Moonglow 20 years ago from just a little ways south. His whole hometown was relocated. It no longer exists. Then to watch Moonglow struggle for so many years. Community is everything to him. He knows how fragile it can be. We're actually preparing a little something to mark his 20th year. Of course, now the market's in full spring. No one has time to finish. Huh. I've got plenty. Just say the word. Amazing. First thing we need is a beast of the ice. Can you bring one to Kevin? What's a beast of the ice? Do I know what that is? Do I know what that is? Hmm. Disgusting bass. Bluefish. 
Hacking fish, seal shrimp, blister box, or red lobster. Hidden seed, saucy yellow eel. Spectacle guppy. I don't even remember what I'm looking for. Smoky squid. Well, that's it. Uh, oh ho, splendid. A beast of the ice. I haven't worked with one of these in years. I don't know what I gave him. <laughs> What's a beast of the ice? It's fine. Friend said you're preparing something for Paris? No time. So you're preparing something for Paris. Here's a handy little instrument for the courtesy. Well, it's a butcher knife. Butcher knife. That's what I meant to say. Gratis, naturally. Paris's favorite dish is fish cakes. The whole market would be extremely grateful. Not least, the man himself. Okay. Apparently I have to make some fish cakes. Fish cakes, fish cakes. I don't know how many we want, but let's do a whole bunch. Mm, chop. And lay back. Bloop. Uh, I'm gonna put most of these in the thing, and then I will hold on to the rest. Okay. Over to Paris. Moonfell. Mm. Wait, is that? Huh. Fish cakes, just for you. 20 years in Moonglow, the guys at the market wanted to mark the occasion. Incredible. Just like they made in no Nova Scotia. How did you know? Hmm. Honestly, I had no idea. I just went with the flow. Uh. You know what this means, of course. You're officially a friend of the market. Yeah. Wasn't I before? Yes, but now you get a special discount. I'll let the guys know. Thanks, Moonfell. It means a lot. Really. I'm so glad it go. Yeah. I need a whole reinforcement. Thank you. You got it, Sarah. <gasps> My puppy. Come on, kitty. I learned a thing. So Google knows I play this game, so it gives me articles sometimes. And uh, I was reading just like tips and tricks for beginners. Uh, and if you pet the dog while you're outside, it will um, stay, stay where you pet it. Good to know. Good to know. Whoop. Okay. Mm, seafood chowder. Okay. Chop. 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 Let's speak to Abby. I think I saw a shockproof figurehead in her store. Huh? Hmm. I know that look. What are you angling for? A shockproof figurehead. We're tackling the waking storm. Hmm. And be careful. This will absorb most electrical damage, but you won't be invincible. <laughs> if you ever need a tow, I'm only a radio call away. A radio. A radio call. Oh. Yes, I will take one. Thank you, thank you. We did it. Subdue the stormfish. Well, Maxime, I can't say how the deep sea lightning fish and waking storm might be connected, but I do know they're putting in the entire town on edge. It's time to confront them both. Writing this journal to Maxime is like, kind of heartbreaking. It's fine. Everybody deals with their trauma in different ways. That is all I will say about that. It's time to fire. I don't know how to. I don't know how to fight this thing. What am I supposed to do? It's pandemonium out here, mom. Even with the lightning resistance, we can't stay forever. Mm. Then we better act fast. What was Marina's advice? Whoa. To redirect the lightning with other tall objects in the water. <gasps> the fish is enormous. What are you gonna do when I catch it? Mm. Don't know yet. I'll think of something. I don't know what that means. Oh, there it is. What do I do? <gasps> Mom, we need to redirect that lightning. Use your rod, try to raise up those Boys. Oh. 
Okay, there's one. Uh, 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 uh. Thanks, River. Easier so sorry, I'm not reading. That's it, Mom. Now all we have to do is reel it in. Um, I can't see a thing. Oh dear. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm stuck. Oh, I done did all the work. I just fucking did. Uh, I don't... I don't love this at all. Oh, that one's up. Shoot. So we didn't knock down all of them, just some of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> supposed to do? Very confused. Fucking KL bullshit's making me real annoyed. Ugh. God damn it. Escape this out that. Time out. Okay. K to go in downstairs. Sorry. Yeah. K to go downstairs. L to control the bolt. L to cast your net. K to cast your fucking rod. Mm. Okay. I'm okay. You know? I'm okay. Frustrated. Don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm okay. I can't reach it. Can't reach its back right now. Please don't knock this one over. I would like... Oh, for fuck's sake. Absolutely. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. You, you. you don't care. You just want me to be frustrated. So you did this in a way that would definitely make me frustrated. I'm gonna miss it. <sighs> okay. We're gonna take a moment. Use one of the um, techniques that we used with my toddler. To take some deep breaths. How did I miss? Oh, okay. okay, okay, okay. I don't need to be there anymore. You're good. Thank you. Very helpful. Like, I have an indicator for the light. They don't have one for the freaking thing that I'm supposed to be hitting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe angle for, like, right here. Like, right there. And he can knock that one over. That's fine. But we're gonna get ready to fish. A fishy? <gasps> he's too far away. Oh. Oh, he's gonna be too far away the whole time? Oh, please let me get it. 
This is fucking maddening. I do not understand what you expect from me. It's more than I am capable of, though, clearly. What? I'm gonna get fucking hit. I don't need to be... Oh, your fucking controls are fucking infuriating. It's so infuriating. What am I supposed to... These are really, like, obvious, right? Because, like, it lines up white, like the buoy or whatever. They get all white when I... When I'm... See? Like, it's obvious when I... Hi, my name is Rachel, and I'm about to lose my fucking mind over this stupid game. It's a very cute game, but that's not gonna matter if I lose my shit over it. <gasps> I, I, I don't know what I did wrong that time. Uh, it's pulling away from me. Uh. Oh, okay. I see it. I saw it that time. I saw it that time. Okay. I see it that time. This time we're gonna time it just a little bit better. Uh, we're gonna go right here, I think. He's gonna go under there. He's probably gonna knock it over. That's fine. Oh, please get it. No, don't knock my boat around. That's fair. Jay? What is that? Mom, it's an antenna. What did you do? It was an accident. Marina said it was sheddable, right? It'll grow back? Wait, where's it going? It's retreating. It's had enough. Frankly, who could blame it? good enough emotional state for this. That way, quick, take the helm. <laughs> Another way. Rude. Oh, puppy. Oh, waffles. Don't ever scare me like that again. Whoa, Mom. The heck? I saved waffles from the store. Thank goodness. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <I'm> gonna cry. <laughs> Fine. Amazing. What is that? Is that me or is the storm oh. subsiding? <clears throat> I mean, maybe, but if so, it has nothing to do with the legendary stormfish. Hmm. Yeah, I know, spoil sport. What are you? Um, can we? Can we go on in? Oh. Whoa! What do you reckon? A hundred years old, possibly more. No obvious opening mechanism, at least on this side. Hmm. We can't take the two cats across those shallows. Uh. We're gonna need a smaller boat. Oh boy. Alright. 
What am I gonna do? Ask in town about the Osha tour. Return to Paris. Reese. Uh, he and Sarah are experts. I should sleep till the next morning. Ooh. I didn't realize I was attached to waffles. But apparently I might be slightly attached to waffles. Or maybe I'm just emotionally vulnerable right now. Maybe that's it. Uh, I don't know. Hey. What? What, Moonville? What does that oaf of a mayor want with me now? Look around, there's no fish, no money, no market. And all because of that cursed storm fish. It's gone. Good. What? What's gone? Hmm. The fish. Well, technically, it was an eel. So tell your supplier they can get back to work. Suppliers? <sighs> and I'm sorry, it's just I'm being asked to make arrangements for the centennial. Mm -hmm. But what do we have to celebrate? I look around and Ugh. the community needs care. Far more than any grand celebration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. We all want the same thing, but we're pulling in the wrong direction. The answers are down in the bay. The ruin, the stormfish. They're right here. Moonglow Bay just needs support. To be useful again. And time to heal. So what do we do? Leave it with me. I'm going to speak to the man in charge. Uh, am I? What am I going to tell him? Sorry, man, we can't do your uh, stupid festival thingy because um, it's bad for everyone. Bad idea. Bad business, dad. Uh, okay, team. Crisis mode. The treasury is dry. What's the solution? Oh. We could sell off resources. Like what? For half a decade, the only meaningful thing this town's produced is folklore. Uh. Reopening the library might take must take priority. Who knows what knowledge we're keeping locked away? Hmm. If the town wants to fish again, let them fish. Mend the harbor. What? Before then, we must restore a sense of heritage and pride. Fix the clock tower. Uh. Silence. Ah. Oh, Moonfell. Uh, I've been standing there long. <sighs> long enough. Huh. Allow me to introduce ah. Lily Trimbray. <laughs> Trimley, future mayor. My <clears throat> exhausting family. Hmm. Apparently, I came at the right time. What needs repairing? The harbor. Oh. The clock tower. The library. Uh. Stop, all of you. Hey. Lily, congrats. You're fundraising for the harbor. Ethan, find investments for the clock tower. Yeah. And be charming, both of you. The town needs to dig deep and wants to survive. <laughs> Rose, my darling, once these two facilities are sorted, <laughs> typical, side with the kids. I will gladly support reopening the library. Huh. Everything's a negotiation. The town needs capital, pure and simple. Mm. But even with a bottomless jar of shells, time's against us for the centennial. Huh. It wouldn't hurt, though, a bottomless jar. Huh. <laughs> well, you've worked miracles before, and the town bulletin board is always stacked with requests. Anything you can do to fund the harbor and clock tower renovations would be extremely welcome. Wait, wait. I know that look. What are you planning? Huh. This town is willing to pay good money for extraordinary seafood. Don't say it. Huh. And where's more extraordinary than the hot springs? <laughs> you had to say it. We've barely scraped by selling catches from the bay. And you heard the mayor. The town needs to dig deeper. Mm. And so do we. Mm. Besides, isn't that this why you came? To support the centennial? It wasn't just that. And of course I'll help. But first, we need a smaller boat. We'll never cross the Geyser Shallows and the two cats. Okay. So. Rose, Lily, Clock Tower. Where is Rose? Oh, here. Here she is. Moonfell, how wonderful. Your philanthropic reputation precedes you. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Bit of a bad time? Indeed. You heard my husband's decree. No money for the library until the harbor and clock tower are repaired. And it seems my children's proclivity for fundraising eludes me. Huh. That's no problem. Perhaps I could. No, no. The harbor and the clock tower must come first. But thank you. Okay. Well, in that case, need to go 
And we'll just we'll just head back down the road. Huh. Do you know anything about a giant sea gate to the east? Huh. The ocean door. Built by the Alet twins, the founders of Moonglow. Yeah. Known as the feuding founders, if you believe the stories. Uh -huh. What's it for? What's on the other side? Why is it locked? Sorry, Moonfell. My expertise ends with the Alet twins. I hope it's Owlet. I'm going to Google it. Oh, Owlet. 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 Easy peasy. Owlet is not correct. It's Owlet. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Yeah. You should try the library in Town Hall. Except I can't because I have to spend some money first. That's okay. I don't mind spending money, you know. A warm Reese's refits. Welcome to Moon Glow's most charitable entrepreneur. 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 I've seen your dreary fishing crawler. You must be itching for an upgrade, eh? Can I interest you in a luxury lugger or a super swift speeder? You'll be the fastest fisher on the waves. Ugh. Hey, that's not nice. The two cats is wonderful. She means a lot to me. But I do need something for the shallows. Oh. Huh. In that case, I've got an old dinghy taking up space. But I'd feel bad asking for shells. Then how about a trade? Do you like seafood? Maybe I could fix you lunch. Right. I'll go one better. I'll swap you the dinghy for a single fish, the Jungle King. It's a large species that swims around perching isles, and it'll keep me fed for a week. I have no idea how to find that fish, but we'll figure it out. Oh, she's down there. Okay. My bad. How much money you need? Care to contribute to the upkeep and prosperity of our civil amenities? All donations will support the refurbishment of our beloved harbor. <sighs> Easy on the sales voice, Lily. I'm here to help. Oh, thank goodness. All this smiling makes my cheeks hurt. Oh. Yikes, the harbor waters are really in a state. Mm. I know, right? Before we can renovate, I need to sweet talk some minion into cleaning up the driftwood. Mm -hmm. I have a boat, you know. Oh, no! Sorry, I didn't mean... I wasn't angling for... <laughs> yeah, fair. Relax, Lily. I'm happy to be your minion for the day. Let me clear the driftwood for you. So I gotta clear some driftwood. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to... Is he up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to that guy. The other family child person. Family child person. Love it. The other spawn of the mayor. Oh. Welcome, madame, to the cultural cornerstone of our town. A landmark of our heritage. A barometer of civic pride. Hmm. Simmer down, Ethan. Don't oversell it. I'm here to help. What's the plan? Oh. The plan is to hope people walk by, then ask them nicely to give me their money. Well, it's not brilliant. How about an event? You could give a speech, offer some food. Oh. That's it. You own that delightful new street food place. Huh? Yeah, wait, did I just volunteer for something? Oh. Please, it wouldn't take much. Just five dishes to incise, entice donors. Uh. You're a nice guy, Ethan, but you push it. Okay, five dishes coming up. So I need five dishes for this guy, and I need to go clean up some driftwood for his sister. Okay, five dishes. I only have three fish, apparently. In that case, let's go get some driftwood out of the harbor first. Um, is it this driftwood? Will this work? Is this what she means, or do I need to go over to the actual harbor? We'll see, won't we? It is this. This counts. Okay. How many more? I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Five meals. I had to do ten. Oh, just trash. It doesn't have to just be the driftwood. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I like cleaning up trash, honestly. Makes me feel a little nice. Even though it's a game. I don't care. Two more. Mm hmm. Definitely have enough now. Um, let's go downstairs. I actually wanted to come in here this time. Okay. Well, a knife. Meow. Wow. Okay. Cool. 
I would love to. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, too far. Not great, but it's okay. I'm gonna go put everything but five things into. Gonna pet the dog. I'm glad you're alive, buddy. Let me just make sure. Five meals. Minion. Okay. We're gonna sleep until in the morning. Okay, presumably I can go turn these two quests in. Hopefully. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm so sorry about the minion thing. It's fine, really. Happy to help. What's next? Next is the hard part. The actual fundraising. We need 2,000 clams for the full renovation. All the information's on the proposal sign if you want to take a look. I think I got this. Why does it cost me less? We did it. Thanks again, Moonfell. Hmm. There's not much footfall around here. I might have to go door to door. You're welcome to contribute too, of course. Just check out the proposal sign. What? It's done. We did it. Hey! Hey, back so soon? How are those culinary creations coming on? Uh. Slowly but steadily. Was there anything in particular you wanted? Oh, any five dishes will suffice. Chef's choice. Chef's choice. Oh. Amazing. A fine selection. And we're already most of the way to our target. It seems even the promise of you cooking is enough to sway people to part with their shells. <sighs> You're too kind. So what happens now? Mm. Now I find some way to magically convert these meals into cold, hard currency. There's actually a machine for that. We just need the last few shells to repair the pathway and restore the clock itself. Oh. All the information is on the two proposal signs if you'd like to contribute. Oh, yeah, that's totally fine. I can do that. And then there's another. Oh, yeah. 100, 100 clams, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Obviously. Hey Zeus, what's your favorite fish to photograph? Ugh. Sister Peach, no question. Agile and swift with petal-like fins. According to legend, it lives in a castle filled with mushrooms and a plumber. I get it. It's a it's a Mario reference. Oh. Wait, that's it, Moonfell. Yes, I mean, <clears throat> Madame, the community thanks your generosity. Ah. You're entirely welcome. How did it go selling those meals? Selling the- oh yes, very well, very well. Sold indeed. You ate them, didn't you? What an insinuation. But I'm going to let it slide because your cooking is so delicious. But seriously, thank you Moonfell. This means a lot to the town. You got it, dude. I can't use that. That's too bad. <laughs> Is there more to do down at the marina? Did I miss? She did say it was going to be 2,000, and it would make sense that I missed something. Ah, there's another sign. <laughs> Ocean Gaze Aquarium Dogs. Caution. Rickety. Okay. Uh. Wait, we made the target. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean... Hmm. The office of the mayor and the local fishing community thanks your generosity. As for Ethan, I really don't understand his obsession with the clock tower. There must be other public spaces in more urgent need of renovation. Why don't you find out? Canvas opinion. See what the town thinks. Ah. You know what? I'm going to do exactly that. And as a tax-paying citizen, feel free to voice your opinion anytime. You got it. I will definitely do that. I am very good at voicing my opinion. There's a lot of trash bags. There's a lot of trash bags. A lot of trash bags. Like in everybody's yards. Eh, the roads probably need to be patched. <laughs> the uh, the definitely the beach needs to be cleaned. 
like hardcore. It's really gross out there. So now I'm gonna go talk to Rose. Ah, Mrs. Fisher. My children are so grateful for your generosity. Although I wonder if I could ask, and only if you can afford it, of course, to help reopen the library. Happy to. How much do you need? Only 5,000. Huh. Only 5,000. Think of it as a down payment on a new era of enlightenment. I'll try, but crikey, eras of enlightenment certainly aren't cheap. I <laughs> can't afford that yet. I need to renovate the library, which is going to be 5,000 clams. I need to find a jungle king. I need to research the OLED twins when we get the library up. And then I have to go talk to uh, Lily again. That's okay, though. So yeah, we have some direction for the next episode. <laughs> um, and we beat that stupid lightning fish. <laughs> lightning eel, excuse me, whatever. Who cares? Uh, I beat it, but not sure what I did differently the times that I hooked the stupid fins and the ones that I didn't, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> but I am quite enjoying this little cute... It's not little. This cute game. It's not little. It's a big game. It's a lot. There's a lot going on. <laughs> um, but on that note, I will see you guys next week. Okay. Bye-bye.